morning guys welcome to my channel my name is Elena I'm trying to be a little more peppy when I start off because I swear I've watched the last couple of videos I'm like God, I look like such a downer um I swear I'm not a downer um but I try not to yell also but okay so today I'm gonna do some drugstore first impressions so but I also thought I would do kind of a get ready with me while we do it um I gave my kids a lunchable hoping that they give me enough time to get this done. We'll see. Um, my husband had to go back to work today. So, well, he's been working, but he's been working from home. So we're just kind of, oh, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Sorry. I tell you what, my allergies, I normally have like seasonal allergies a little bit. These past couple days, well, maybe past couple weeks, you guys, insane um i'm gonna start by pinning my hair back i got these new uh alligator clips on amazon <laughs> pin my hair back a little bit so it's not in my face but oh my gosh these last couple days i cannot function it's been insane i've been taking um i normally take allergy medicine every day anyways um i have like a weird skin condition that sounds strange but it's called dermatographism. So like if you scratch my skin, uh, it kind of welts up. So I have to take it just so that I can function and not have hives all day. Um, but I've been having to take Benadryl on top of it. And so like I had to take Benadryl this morning and I was like a zombie for like an hour and a half. So I'm trying to like pep it up, get it together, but it has been a struggle to get my life together today. Um, okay, so let's just get started. Um, let me prep my skin. I, of course, didn't have everything ready like I should because I literally ran up here, tried to do my hair um, so that, and like gave my kids lunch really fast so that I could try to like get it done fast enough. But my kids have also been I don't think I've worn makeup in, gosh, I couldn't tell you. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Um, I don't know, probably two weeks, maybe a week and a half. Um, I've gotten a little sun because the girl's kind of a vampire. Um, but we've been outside a lot because the weather's been really nice here in Indiana. So we've been outside a lot. Like yesterday, we took a bike ride. Um, we borrowed a bike for me from my mother-in-law. Um, so we took like a long bike ride with the girls. If this gives you any indication of like how outdoorsy I am. So we've been outside with the girls kind of most of the weekend. And my oldest daughter said, mommy, why are you outside so much today? You never go outside. <laughs> so it kind of made me feel bad because then I feel like, oh my gosh, like Kind of mom and I where she just feels like I never go outside. I don't know. I've just, you know, mom guilt, I feel like shows up in so many ways, but anywho. Um, so I started with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This is just the primer that I know will work for my skin. So this way I can give the foundation kind of a fair shot. So the foundation I'm going to try today is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. It says it's for oily skin, but I've known people who don't have oily skin that have tried it and liked it. So we're just gonna try that. I'll start and I'll do one side. Um, I'll put it on the back of my hand. I'll do one side with a brush and then the other side with the sponge. So I've heard for a BB cream that this is supposed to be like fuller coverage. So, and I really guessed on the color. I don't know if you've seen in my last couple videos, but I feel like it's so hard to choose colors hair um online because unless they're showing it like on someone's arm and then they show multiple people with ranges of skin tones and show it on their arms it's almost impossible to choose what color you need because on most websites they show them out of order in the shade range so when you're looking at it they show them completely out of order so they don't show them from like lightest to darkest. 
which is not helpful in any way. And then they don't show you, you know, it's just really hard to choose like a swatch from like, it's not even an actual picture of the foundation. It's just like a uh, really computerized picture of the makeup. So I just feel like it's really hard to choose your shade. I think I did okay though. I've gotten a little more color. I think normally when you're really fair, I've heard that this is not like friendly for people that have really fair skin, which is typically me. I have some discoloration like on my nose. I have some freckles like through here and I have some discoloration just from age spots and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna get really close to my mirror and let's see. My kids are screaming downstairs. I didn't think this would last long. I should have known better. Uh, it's not sitting super well. I'll say though, for me, makeup doesn't sit that well with a brush on my skin anyways. So let's try a sponge. At some point, I may have to pause and go down there and referee. Some days the girls get along really well. And then other days, it's like I'm just a referee constantly between the two of them. You just kind of never know what you're going to get with them. My youngest is really... Um, independent and they're both pretty strong-willed so you know some days are challenging it looks like it dries down okay though um the coverage isn't great on the sponge side it's definitely better on the brush side but I'm gonna see I definitely definitely feels like it dries down though because like this isn't tacky anymore at all oh my god and excuse my nails I've had like quite a few migraines the past couple days I don't know if it's something that I ate or if it's the weather both affect me pretty significantly um as far as migraines go so sometimes it's hard to tell uh for me like the rain or you know that type of weather is a huge trigger and it's rained the past couple nights. Um, like my freckles, I don't care if those aren't covered up personally. I actually like the freckles. Um, this big old thing right here though would be nice to cover up, but we'll try that with. And I notice that I like sniff so much. I swear I don't like do cocaine or anything. I don't know why I do that so much in these videos. Sorry. Okay. So the concealer I'm going to try is Born to Glow by NYX. I got the shade... Mm, oh, Light Ivory. So we'll see. It comes with like a spongy applicator. So we'll see. I'm afraid to squeeze it to see how much is going to come out. Oh, you can see it like starting to come out. Okay. Oh, it's a weird sound when it bounces on your face. I'm going to try cover this thing up a little bit. We will see. I don't have high hopes for covering that up. But And I, again, in some of my videos, I know I've said, but I don't typically bring concealer down my nose or down my forehead or on my chin because it just never sits well on my skin. For whatever reason, it always makes my skin look so textured when I do that. And so I just, it's not a good look for me. So I just never do it. Um, this looks really nice. It's building up well over the BB cream. Also, sorry if you're one of those like I, people that have a hard time with people rolling their eyes back. I was gonna try um, these eye drops that I got. 
I'm gonna do a video that says like Instagram or like social media made me buy it. I'll try a little bit more, see if I can erase some of this darkness. Um, because I swear to you, I have bought, that's why like I don't dog like MLMs or anything like that because like everybody's trying to sell something, you know? And if I can help somebody at home, you know, make some money so that they don't, they can feed their kids or, you know, whatever. I'm here for it. And like, I'm a sucker for whatever. I've bought so many things recently because of like different influencers on Instagram and whatever, peddling everything you can name. And a lot of them have been really good. So I felt like I could share with you guys things that I've bought because you know, I'm not getting paid for it. So I could share things that I've purchased recently that I've liked so far that, you know, I've bought off of because of people on Instagram. I like this so far a lot. This is that Born to Glow Radiant Concealer by NYX. I really like that. Okay. All right. The pressed powder I'm or the translucent powder I'm going to try is by number seven. You can only get this at Target, I think. Um, but there's one specific YouTuber that I follow that likes this. And so she's one of those people that like I trust her opinion. So I am, I think, well, let's just go in. Her name is Allie Glines, by the way. If you're not subscribed to her channel, you should be. She's really down to earth. Um, like no frills. So she's not like in crazy clothes. I mean, not to dog people that are, but I just feel like it's not, I just feel like all you're getting is makeup, which sometimes for me, um, like at night, she's one of the channels that I'll watch because all you're getting is a makeup review. It's nothing more, nothing less, which is fine. That's exactly what I need. I feel like this is lightening quite a bit. Um, but it is sitting like really well. It doesn't seem to have a fragrance at all, which I personally... Some things I don't mind if they have fragrance. Some things I do. Like skincare, I don't really want things to have a fragrance. Um, I have gotten some new skincare things that I'm liking too. Because I just, I haven't always done a really good job of taking care of my skin. Self-care just really isn't my, oh, here they come. Okay, we'll go take it off. Have Sissy help you take it off. What? How did you get water all over you? Oh, you wash the dishes? Okay. Evie and me wash her shirt. Okay, we'll have Sissy help you take your shirt off. Um, this is so that number seven powder, I really, really like the way that's sitting. A lot of times certain translucent powders will look really cakey for me, like right through here. But this looks really, really nice. I need to do my eyebrows again. This looks really good. I like this a lot. Okay. Let's do bronzer. I had two of them out, but I obviously am just going to do one. So we'll do this cult favorite. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now, admittedly, I have tried this before, and I love it. The only thing I will say that I don't love is the scent. I know. I got the, hold on, I got the color sun-kissed bronzer. I don't like the scent because one, I don't really love coconut smells. I know like a lot of people do. It's just not my favorite scent. Um, and two, it is very strong. So like if you have a hard time with highly fragranced things, this is not for you. Um, I do really like the way it works though, so I feel like I can get over it. And I don't feel like the scent lingers. Um, but I do have a hard time with the smell. Like initially when you open it, like you can smell it even in the box. It's strong. However, 
in general. Like it's just such a nice formula. And they have different colors too. I just always get the lightest one because I can be sort of heavy handed. And this forces me to like build. I just feel like the formula is so nice that I kind of get over it. Like it looks so nice. Um, I'm gonna use the number seven in a minute to clean some of this up, but yeah, I just feel like, and I, because I'm so fair typically, I can't use bronzers that have like a lot of red undertone or super orangey undertones because they just don't look uh, natural on my skin. So I have to use ones that are typically like pretty light. Um, so if you're fair like me, I just got the Sunkissed Bronzer. I really like it. I did, oh crap. I meant to use a liquid blush. So I'm gonna have to save that for the next video. I forgot. But I did get another blush from another line. So I'll bust that open. Um, hold on, sorry. I meant to use that liquid blush, but I forgot. No, she went to go find you. Can you help her change her clothes? Honey, I don't, I'm sitting right here. I don't know. <laughs> I knew this wouldn't last long. Okay, so I got this Milani Trio. It's called Floral Fantasy, and it's just three blushes. They're smaller like than the normal size ones, but it comes with, does it say the colors? I don't think it says the colors on here. I don't think so. Anywho, I'm gonna do, I think this middle shade, this one. The one on the far right has some shimmer in it. It's really pretty. I've always heard great things about Milani blushes. I don't think I've ever owned one, honestly. I know their Luminoso blush is supposed to be, does this one have a shimmer? No, I don't think so. Their Luminoso blush is supposed to be like their number one seller, but I don't, I don't believe I've ever owned one. But I do really like the way this looks. I'll be right down, okay? Okay. She was letting me know that they do the dishes. So who knows what I'll go down to see and that they clean the windows. So again, also, uh, this is just the powder puff that came in that number seven stuff. So I'm just using it to clean up my cheeks a little bit. So who knows what it's gonna look like downstairs. But we'll see. Okay. I like the way that both of those look really well though. Okay, so the highlighter I bought was Revlon's Skin Lights. This is in the color Daybreak Glimmer. It's kind of a champagne goldish color but it looked so pretty so pretty so I don't know how pigmented this is so we will see pretty pigmented wow okay
does look really pigmented. Can you guys see that? Yeah, that's nice. I will say, in all fairness, it is accentuating my texture a little bit right here. Uh, and this, these right here is where I have the most texture probably on my entire face is right here. Um, I have been using a new skincare product and I have noticed that it started to go down. So as I continue to use that, I will let you guys know um, if it's getting better, like long term. Because it wasn't that expensive and so far I've seen um, some improvements in my skin. So I will let you guys know. Um, because I don't believe that all skincare has to be like insanely expensive for you to see noticeable results and for it to work. So as I, I want to use things though for a while before I just tell you like off the cuff that I love it and then it works so well and then you guys go out and buy it and then feel like I wasn't honest. So I'm going to try them for like a couple months first before I let you know. Now some of them I, a couple of them I have been trying for a little bit but I wanted to put everything in kind of one video. This is just the bronzer for the Physician's Formula Bronzer. When I don't feel like doing a lot I'll just put bronzer on my face or on my eyes and then I'll just do a little bit of the highlight that I put on my face too. And just use that on my eyes and just let that kind of be the, the eyeshadow look that I do that day. Because let's face it, I'm not going anywhere today. And so I don't really feel the need to kind of go ham on my face. My face does look a little bizarro with no brows on though. Um... I think I'm just going to put a little bit of So if you haven't done the trick of heating up your blow dryer, or I'm brain dead, you guys. That allergy medicine like makes me stupid. Um, if you haven't done the trick of heating up your eyelash curler with your blow dryer, you totally should. It's so worth it. And it makes your eyelashes curl so much better and it stays curled so much better. Um, so anyways, it's kind of a double-edged sword for me. The preschool that I work at part-time, that's closed. Like that's not happening. They won't go back to school until next year. Um, but my permanent makeup business as of now, can open back up May 11th. But because they're not in school and we don't have um, childcare, well, we do, but I don't, you know, we're trying to minimize exposure to everybody else and minimize their exposure to everybody else. <laughs> We're not putting them in any kind of childcare for the summer. So the business that I do have will only be able to be done on the weekends. Um, so, or like in the evenings and stuff. So it's just trying to figure out like how everything's gonna work out and how we're gonna do it. Um, as well as, sorry. Stay safe, keep everybody safe, keep us safe. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. 
Okay, so the last thing is this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is one of these things that Instagram made me buy because I feel like everybody, I've seen so many people use this. Now, prior to me using that Thrive Mascara that I buy, I was like a diehard waterproof mascara person because my eyelashes, for whatever reason, do not hold curl well, even this way. Or they, every mascara flakes. I don't know. I just always have problems until this Thrive one. And the waterproof ones, you know, it's just so hard to get off. And I don't like using the waterproof mascara removers because my eyes are super sensitive. And so I would end up with like really itchy red eyes by the end of the night when I got done taking it off. And then I would notice that some of my, I would get these weird like patches, like basically bald patches in my eyelashes, like right here. So then I would have to use like a lash serum for a month or two to kind of try to grow it back. And it was just like a whole thing. And then I found the Thrive Mascara that I use every day and I haven't had that problem since. And it doesn't flake. I can use it on my bottom lashes, which I have never, ever been able to do um, without transfer. So it's just one of those things. I'm one of those people that I will experiment um, with different products, but like once I find something that's kind of ride or die, I will stay there. But so far, I mean like this mascara works really nice. Like it looks really nice. I always am one of those people too that I don't like really wet mascaras. So if you like really wet mascaras, this is not it. I like them to be a little bit dry because I feel like they give you more volume that way. Um, if I get one that's really wet, I will just leave it kind of uncapped for like overnight to dry it out a little bit. Because I don't, for me, really wet mascaras don't work on me. They don't give me the volume that I need. They can help with length a lot, but they do not give me the volume that I want. But this does a really nice job for giving you volume. Can you guys see that? The only thing about the Thrive Mascara that I don't like, it's literally the only thing, is it is not a buildable mascara. So like most mascaras, like right now you can see me, it dries a little bit, you can kind of go back in, add another coat. The Thrive Mascara does not work like that. You cannot do that because they dry. Ah. Uh, and then they just are what they are for the day. So, but I feel like I can get what I want on the first application so it doesn't really bother me. So it's not really like a big deal to me. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the highlight shade that I had. Do a little bit in the I'm sorry if you can hear them. There we go. And then I'm gonna do, this is just like leftover eyeshadow. Hey, Evie, can you shut my door? Okay. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of bottom. And the brow stuff that I did is not new. So I just did the Joa brow pencil and then the boy brow from Glossier. I really like this mascara though. This looks so nice. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, and then I did get a new lip gloss. So this is one of the, I always love the Supernatural. So this is Revlon. Let me get like the actual full name. Hey, Evie, can you shut my door? They're called Super 
lustrous. Okay, baby. Um, so I did get a new color. Again, these are really hard to pick out too online because they look a lot more sheer than they are or whatever. So I would much prefer to pick these out in person, but again, with everything, I'm not going out for that. I did go to the post office the other day, you guys. Oh my gosh. I felt like I had a lobotomy. I did not take my hair down a little bit. I could not function. Like I haven't been out like in public and, you know, done real life things in forever. It seems like. Y'all, they had lines on the floor. I don't, you've probably seen this if you watch my Instagram stories. They have lines on the floor telling you where to stand. And then they have like a uh, plastic shield up for the teller or the person that works behind the desk. Did I look down to see where the lines were? No. Did I stand even in front of the damn screen? No, I stood to the side of it like an idiot. It wasn't until I had already shut the box that I, I had to send stuff back to Ulta um, that I didn't like and that broke. So I shut my box um, of stuff because I could not find packing tape here. I shut the box, realizing that I taped it shut without the packing slip in it, like an idiot. So I had to open the box back up, stick the stuff back in, blah, blah, blah. I'm walking up and I look down at the floor, I'm like, really there's freaking lines all over the floor with tape where you should stand and i'm just ignoring it and this guy's probably like okay lady and i was standing just to the right of the shield so i'm like talking to him he has no mask on i did but and then i started to breathe really hard in the mask because i started to get like nervous that i don't know i'm kind of an anxious person so I started to get nervous and i started to breathe really hard in my mask and then i started to like sweat it was a mess and i just was like I'm going to have to leave. So I got everything done, luckily, and then left. But this guy probably thought I was an absolute moron. And I was, admittedly. Like, I wouldn't have blamed him at all for thinking that. Okay, this is called taupe luster. Now, I don't know why they call that this, because this is not taupe in any way. And when I bought it online, I thought it was going to be taupe, too. So it's not taupe. It's purple. But we'll see what it looks like. does not have a scent at all but it's definitely purple purplish i really like it though you guys i cannot you can't go wrong with these lip glosses they are my absolute 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 favorite they go on sale um <laughs> on CVS's website a lot. So if you're gonna buy them, cause I feel like they're expensive. I don't know if you guys will feel that way, but for me, like $9 for how fast I'll go through this because I wear these things constantly. Um, so sometimes they'll have like buy one, get one half off. That for me is the time to do it. Or if you have like extra bucks or whatever, I just love these. I really like this. This may be my new favorite color. Hmm. Like I said, normally I get supernatural. So this is the difference in the colors. This is the Supernatural, and then this one is the Taupe Luster. Again, nothing taupe about this, but the Supernatural one, though, is very, like, natural. Kind of like a Your Lips color. But, and neither, both of these are, there's no shimmer in either of these. I really like this. Okay, so I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. So that was the ColourPop spray that I uh, got in my last, I did in my last first impressions video. Again, I don't know if I love it, but you know, it's doing what it needs to do until the one that I really love is out of stock. And so until that comes back in stock, it said it's going to come back in stock this summer. So until that happens, okay, let's check everything out. Okay, overall, everything looks like really nice. The BB cream, like once the setting powder got on it and the blush and the bronzer, like it looks really nice up close. And again, typically like right here is where it's gonna look gross on me uh, cause that's where my pores are the biggest. Right here and then right here. But it looks really nice right now. 
that like I said that one the highlighter is accentuating my texture but it's not doing it so much that I wouldn't wear it now if you have a lot of texture um, and you don't want that to be accentuated I would say maybe not do that but overall I feel like I like everything hmm that's never happened I don't think that I've bought a bunch of stuff and liked everything okay well awesome that's exciting okay well damn I've never liked everything that's so cool I'm excited okay so thank you so much for watching all the videos I kind of obsessively check the views when a video comes out um sue me I just I like these videos so much and I like making them so I kind of obsessively check and you guys have just really shown up and shown out and so I just appreciate it so much. This is again such a labor of love for me and I just love making these videos so much and so I appreciate you guys liking the videos and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and that way you can be notified anytime I put out a new video. Um, the last video was an Amazon favorites. Um, and then the next video, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I'll keep you guys updated so you can follow me on Instagram too and kind of check it out. But thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.